Hey, sneaky looks better tonight. Now tonight it's just a bit of an intro really. Now I've been using OpenShot for my videos for quite a long while. And I've been asked to do some stuff for it by a certain person. I ain't gonna tell you that is just yet. But hey, it'll all become clear in the future. So what I'm gonna do is give you a quick round of open shot tonight on Ubuntu at ten oh four this machine. Just to put a new hard drive in it and reinstall everything. Don't ask me why, just don't even go there. Oh, the hard drive's only six months old. I weren't very happy about that at all. So anyway, we've got the shot up. As you can see, it's a really easy video editor. But it's not Pitivy style, it's open shot style. But it's not as complicated or advanced as Caden Live. But then again, it don't crash as much as Caden Live. So I've got the mediocre one, but it works. Okay. Your usual file, you get important export stuff, you edit, undo and redo, and your preferences. I'll go to preferences. Now I'm using the default fresh theme here, but you can change all the themes, so should we change one? Yeah, we'll go to blue glass. Fine for me. Use stock icons, yes or no. Import the image length, usual, usual, usual. You can go all through this for yourself. Now, if you want to do the animated uh, intros and stuff, the blender that's applied, which in Ubuntu is 249, is not good enough. You need the beta, which is 256, or which is now 257, by the way. So you'll have to download the latest blender and point it in the right direction. Now, I'm just going to give you a quick go of how to do it and how easy it is. And then in the next couple of videos, you'll see a bit more. So basically, what we do is my intro, the one I usually use, you know, to the intro video. And I'll play it for you. Look, I'll click play. There it goes. That's the intro. Nice. Works. We'll stop that and go back to the beginning again. And we'll go to the video. And this is one I've done the other night on Legacy OS. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play with it. I'm going to click Properties. So this is the sort of thing you can do. You can do it in Caden Live as well. I know you can do that. But we'll go to Video. I'm going to fade that in and fade that out. Over five seconds. See that? And apply. And we go 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now in theory, if we play that back now, Okay, here's my intro. La, 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 about 15 seconds of intro. People moan about my intros, by the way. I don't know, believe me, why. I really don't, but hey. Do I care? No, you can just moan as much as you like. If you don't like it, don't watch it. As simple as that. As you can see, it's faded into our basic video. Now, this one I've actually converted to 720, as you can see. This is just a demonstration of what you can do. Normally, I'll convert that to 720 before I even start. Okay? So, basically, the basics how you do it now what we we'll do over the next week or two we'll do a few more on open shot but not in ubuntu we're going to use puppy and we're going to use debian and we're going to use all the other distros and so for video we'll be using a different one so tomorrow night i'm going to use it in puppy and show how to do it in pup nice and easy super duper but we'll go into a bit more about doing the animation titles here and ordinary titles you've used and stuff like that and all the other bits and bobs that associated with open shot but as far as i'm concerned it's probably the best video editor out there for the average guy or the more than average guy but for doing videos on youtube ideal enough said i like it sneaky linux out i see you later Bye.